Hello, my single solitary viewer, and welcome back across the time to time, no time for Rugrats. Rugrats. <laughs> <laughs> so back to the barbarian camp that we snuck into. Yeah, it's uh, so elegant. Before. It's 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 like the Grand Thief Lupin. We they never saw. Everything froze and you cut out in the middle of uh, your terrible re reference to Arsène Lupin. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so, I, uh, I missed it. I agreed. <laughs> that was a terrible, terrible reference. Was it? I mean, everyone knows Arsène Lupin because he's a public domain by now. That is true. And so, uh, unsurprisingly, Netflix got a series inspired by Lupin called Lupin. Oh, is that is that any good? It was actually quite good. I, I enjoyed it. Nice. Um, at first, it, uh, it it looked like this very strange thing where, uh, you know, uh, uh, Saint Lupin looks nothing like the fictional character should look like, because you know it's a guy with a top hat and monocle, fancy tuxedo. Well, yeah, that's I, actually a disguise, but you know. So, but actually, the guy playing him is like super buff, not at all like a gentleman or a cat burglar, Sid. Oh, d don't mind me. Uh, just flatulence. Uh, yeah, it's, oh. it happens sometimes. It's the beans, isn't it? <laughs> it's all about the beans. The beans, yes, yes, the beans. Beans, beans the magical fruit. The beans. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, but uh, it turns out the guy is not like Arsène Lupin. He's a guy who, inspired by Arsène Lupin, the fictional character, oh. decides to do some, uh, you know, some Arsène Lupin-like things. Honestly, that seems like a fine twist. Yeah. So, so it's not a strange recasting of, of, uh, of Arsène Lupin in, uh, in a, I don't know, a race swapped. Or you know, gender swapped. In, in this case, there's no gender swapping happening, but you know, it's sometimes they have this uh, tendency to um, make characters more diverse, even though the original character was not like that at all. Sure. And this yeah. one, I thought, was the perfect way of doing it, which is, you know, a diverse person, if you will, mm -hmm. inspired by this old character. Uh, does does things that are similar, but they're a different character. So that's the way you do it. Hello, Abrock from the Beastie Boys. <laughs> yeah, that seems really smart. Uh, um, three yeah. chronolons per lot. I could pay if you want for Lucy. If you want to keep you on. No, I, I, I'm I'm rich. All right. Uh, well, it's a bit expensive, and I worked a lot to get here. Make me an offer. Yeah. Yeah, I like that one. If you yeah! don't want us to change your name to the guy who got killed for three logs, I suggest you leave. Oh, wait. Let's take that deal. I think that's a fine deal. What? Th yeah, for 16 logs? I, I can pay. I'll pay if you don't. All, All right. right. <laughs> I feel like. Uh... Uh, should we bring back the bowl of cereal? Yes. Let us bring back the cereal bar wheel here because that was another quest. There was this uh, oh, lady. Lady. A lady. Unfortunately, Adrock over there was a, did not provide the cowbell like it was supposed to. <laughs> um, yeah. Hello, Malak. My crops. I will miss them. Uh, there's the crops. Catching. So I think she requires 64 in total, so... What? Do you see the signs? But I had, I had like 16 of them. Yeah, I, was like, I guess her cereal is all over the world. Oh my god. <laughs> she my had four, god. Se four separate thieves steal her cereal mm. <laughs> at points of her life. Okay, well, that's GTFO. All we have yeah. to do is, is bring the, the logs back, right? That's right. Go back and then I suppose we go off to Melem, or do I'll... we have anything else in this area? No, I I have I have want to see Melem. I want to see a new, new city. Aha, uh -huh. new city. See what this Sid world has to see. Up. New city. Little Sid in the big city. That's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> Sid wants to see a new city. 
Can you see the the bacon? Uh, the, the can bacon. you see the bacon? Uh, you know, I mean beacon. You know, there's a beacon for the uh, okay for Riley. Uh, I was like, are you are you seeing fried bacon right now? What's going on? Oh, this hey, what is this? What is this thing that I accidentally stumbled? Oh, a, a secret chesticle. Ooh, you found ancient ruins. Not bad, not bad. Glaive. Uh, no, the Fiertes village I'll keep. And that, I have three versions of that sword, so. <laughs> and I'll grab the free carrot. Uh. How long do you think that carrot's been there, though? Well, I don't know. It's, it's free. Fruit never goes bad, right? Oh, Wait, carrots that, are yeah, not that's... fruit. You tricked me, Sid. Wait, what? How? How did I? <laughs> you told me carrots were free. You know, carrots are sweet, therefore their fruit is what Sid said. Well, that is true. I did say that. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Sid. <laughs> you did say that. Fruits are things that you bury in the ground, and then you pick them up. It's just how it works. Yeah, that's true. It's the it's the fruit of the earth. Are they well, actually... well, let's see how old this carrot is. Pretty uh, old. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's pretty old. Well, you didn't immediately faint, so it can't have been no, that bad. No, no, it is not ancient. It's just pretty old. <laughs> um, is well, what guy over here? Isn't this a guy? We bring uh, it to a cold yeah. guy? Yes, yeah, it's, it's in uh, here. Patrick. Ah, uh, Patrick. Patrick. You have, you have to do your best Patrick impression now. Oh, uh, Sid, it's not working. Maybe you have to do it. Wait, is that is there a pressure pad? Yeah, over here. Uh-oh. Patrick? So do you have my logs? Oh, okay. Oh, we got to get paid back. Oh, you we owe me how her. much? Oh, right, oh. right, right. Oh. Wow, I, I don't I, I I didn't see what you picked. I very <laughs> don't tell me. I was I was very honest, Sid. Oh, oh 68. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. Patrick uh, needs a piece of wood. So. He actually gave me extra uh Ah, oh, doesn't it yeah. feel nice to not exploit the people of the town? Uh, well, hey, 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 we do a job, we, we get paid. Sure, 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 sure. We don't clean for free. <laughs> 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 all right, to Malayim we go. I mean, and all the delivery fees, you know, insurance on the mm -hmm. wood, and mm -hmm. life, consider, yeah. That's right. You know, I mean, I... Oh. Look at that guy burning all the calories <laughs> in the world. Yeah, uh, let me see. Uh, I have seven skill points. Oh, I didn't think about that. So maybe uh, I should invest in the hunger <laughs> so yeah. I don't eat though so much. And yeah. you should get some speed going. Oh, good point, good point. Okay, let's bounce that speed up. Oh, look at this new path along the river. A new path along a river. It feels the feet of Sid treading on. So Flues, yes, I want to hear all the all the new deets on your Valheim server. That's been uh -huh. well. Unfortunately, by now it's all out of date. By the time this episode comes out, yeah, yeah. But I'm so let's not. Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Uh, no, actually, because the uh, the information I would ta uh, say now uh, would probably become obsolete by the time the video comes out, and I don't want to give m bad information. Okay. Sid, did you did you eat beans? Uh, that that was not my beans. Uh, that was been someone else's beans. Well, it said, look, Sid made the advancement speedy, strength, and he man. Dun, <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Sid made those advancements. <laughs> okay, I guess it was me. <laughs> I thought uh, maybe this way. Someone else, but never mind. <laughs> my name is this way. Uh, well, if you don't want to be out of date, talk to me about how you defeated the fifth boss. <laughs> uh, at this point, 
I literally don't know. Uh, I'm because I'm saving everything uh, for when we do play. And this way is blocked, Sid. But but wasn't it amazing when you you defeated Yggdrasil, the living world tree? Uh, yeah, no, I, that is the uh, I, that's actually not the fifth buff though. That, that's the end game. That's, uh... that's what you're questing for, you know. So you're in Valheim until you finally manage to fell Yggdrasil. Oh, uh, okay. Yes. I, th I thought it might, be, might have been the uh, the Worm of Midgar would have been the, the final final. But apparently not so. Uh, well, well, you know, they, they have to take creative liberties, you know. True, 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 true. Watch out for this bandit here. Um, and I like how he asks, uh, they must speak some barbarian language. Because all I ever hear from them is, uh, but I mean, you know, there's just this, you silly barbarian. Yeah, do, do you think it's a very primitive language, or do you think it's a very much of an intonation thing? Like, it's I, the same I think it's word. just because, you know, we, we're so uneducated in that language that it just sounds like, uh, to us. But, uh, right. you know, they yeah. would say, uh, that was very eloquent. <laughs> Your oration but skills, my friend, are... Peerless. <laughs> they are like 17 more vowel sounds than we do somehow. Is there is there a cemetery over here? Oh, apparently so. It looks like a cemetery, but it's blocked. So I'm, I'm assuming this is for a future mission. A later quest. Yeah, we, di we didn't get no quest go to the cemetery, but though we'll know exactly where it is. That is true. When the, oh. the time comes. Is this yeah. an abandoned castle up here? Yeah, Melaim. Uh, uh, I don't know if it's abandoned. Oh, there's a secret chest over here. Oh, oh secret chesticle. I, I, I can't reach it. I can't reach it. My, well, the, my arms aren't long enough. Okay, uh, you need to learn the long reach spell. Oh, uh, wouldn't some uh, actually could it? Oh yeah, no, that's definitely. Uh, I'll say. Uh, I bet it's a mausoleum up there, and that's the crypt. Oh yes, yeah, so we're connected. That makes sense. Oh uh, yeah, no, look, it's it looks like a church, not a not a castle. Aha, that makes sense. Ruined to be sure, but uh, maybe an old temple, and uh, that'll be in the crypt. It looks like a future mission as we explore explore -er, the wor -er -er world. Oh, we got a split here in the path. I don't know which way goes to Melaim. Hmm. Uh, Let's just take a random. Yeah, take a guess with Let's go in a random direction. <laughs> no, I, I think that the one to the left actually goes to the mausoleum we were talking oh, about. Oh, that Sid? makes sense. Yeah. Sid? Yeah. yeah. Sid? Sid, 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 Sid. I hope you don't have epilepsy, but uh, apparently I ate the beans. Oh, no! Please! <laughs> you learn from my mistakes, my man! <laughs> Did I? Did I learn from your mistakes? I mean, I've been eating them twice now. You should definitely That's not eat fair. them. fair. I mean, they are tasty. The seasoning, Sid, is beyond but, compare. But, but you just eat the seasoning like a brute. <laughs> wait, I think we have a, some kind of village over here. Is this Malame or... No, wait. Malame is on the cliff. This is... This is a hole. Uh, does that count as a cliff? I, I, I actually I don't know the definition of a cliff, so sure. Oh, no, wait. For, for Melaim, we have to keep going. Yeah, it's it's a long ways away, it seems. But you know, it's a nice little time taking the scenery, enjoy the view, taking the scenery. Really wish we had a horse right now, but you know, it's just how life is. Maybe we could have a horse. So, what if you like over Iba? there is Ryleth. That oh, no. city in the crater looks like it could, or that town in the crater looks like it could be Eolorio. Eolorio. Oh. And there's, okay. there's something there. Melame is this way. I bet, it, like, we're definitely, or some quest will direct us to that area at some point, so. No, yeah, that's what I'm assuming. So I'm not, like, uh, going off the map entirely. Yeah. Even though that's... You know, what I would probably do in Skyrim, I'm like, forget the main quest, let's... Is this... Uh, hey, kid! Uh-oh. Sid! Uh... He man... Dun, 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 dun. Sid! 
Did, did we both eat the beans? Did, did this Sid, guy Sid, eat the beans? You're getting pwned by a child. Ah, help! I can't escape him! Dodge and weave! Dodge and weave! Blues, what are we to do? I don't know. What are we to do? What? What did what I do? What the heck did I do? What do you mean, did I do? I'm not what? doing anything. <laughs> what did you do? I don't know. I'm just having fun You watching you run. <laughs> At some point, you'll run out of food, Sid. Black Forest? All right, well, I, I suppose he, he's part of the, of the group part now. Of, part of the party! Welcome, kid! Oh, how's it feel? How does it feel? So what class are you? Are you, like, the rogue type? That makes sense. You're pretty- you're not that very sneaky, though. You're very quick, but not very sneaky. That's probably I, the- Sid, I can't even hit this thing. Oh, okay. Oh. Ah! Ah! Sid! <laughs> Well, run! <laughs> it's angry, Sid. It's angry. Very angry. Well, but I'm much, I'm much faster than it. They, oh, well, they're still hunting us. Oh, should we drink our Invis potion? Invis potion. Yeah, uh, that that that'd be a way to get away from this kid if we don't want to hang around anymore. Uh, my name is this way. Excellent. Where, For, where are you now? Did you get, go back to the kid? Yeah, you dropped Coronatons. Okay, great. <laughs> Was it worth it? Um, looks like it fixed the camera, so yes. Oh, wonderful. Entirely worth it. Oh, Savior! See, that's the moral of this story, Sid. Always kill the babies. Always kill the babies. Always kill the babies. Only they hold knives. Babies Fetus without delitus. knives. What? Uh, babies without knives, you don't kill those. But babies with knives, you kill. Well, well this one has an axe, though. Oh well, um, okay. Well, that's like a gray area, like. Yetus fetus delitus. Do 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 do. So Mornith is this way, Ryla that way. Okay, so Mornith is that gate over there. Okay. Oh, Sid, oh. you're getting shot. Rod! <laughs> Sin is so getting is, shot. It's a terrible affliction to have, though, because there's a limit to the amount of babies in the world. At one point, you're going to run out. Hmm. Uh oh. Sid, Sid, why? Why? Uh, I mean, you killed the baby. I All right. Didn't. Well, I mean, yeah, but that's obviously that was what we had to do. So oh. kill the next one, and we're even. Well, I'm still getting the camera shakes, so. Uh, see, see, and I don't, I don't have the camera shakes. Oh. I killed the baby, oh. and I'm cured. Okay, you were absolved by your sin. Uh, of yeah. your sin okay. it, it turns out that that rumor they had in, uh, in Africa a while back is true. <laughs> uh, babies do cure diseases. Uh, oh, I, I not heard of that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, this is looking it's like, a bridge. That's looking real pretty over here. Hello, God. Nice little flag. A flag? Yeah, a ah, we must have arrived in Melaim, Sid Garcia. Okay, let's look for uh, Ragnar. Oh yeah, nicely done. And well, since we are strolling in like we own the place, uh huh. You're uh, saying to clean up a little? Because we could own the place if we wanted to. Yeah, yeah, we got the chrome for it for mm -hmm. sure. Uh, so we were looking for Ragnar Lorth. That is true. Oh I'm my. here to find a fragment of a magic stone called Gem of Space. Yeah. According to Girth, Indra Lorth could know the location of one of these fragments. Also, I would like to ask him about it. Now, if we remember, 
back then in the other episode, mm-hmm. Indra was a she, but now Indra is a he. Yeah, that's confusing. That's because Indra is clearly gender fluid. Yes. You're an adventurer, I guess. Look, she's not as young as you are, and I think you should leave her out of your stories. Wait. She's a her again. Okay. Wait, I don't want to involve him in any story. Oh, I'm like, like we're, they're forcing us to misgender poor Aaron Indra. Yeah, it's rough. It's rough. Uh, uh, a few questions. A few questions. Not cause any pain. Are you not? And not seeing you will cause even less. Good luck with your quest. Oh, what? Okay, Ragnar. Uh, I, uh, I had to do a... Uh, uh, dang it. I, I think I, p- I picked the wrong choice. Ah, we'll figure things out. We'll figure it out. It's no... We'll figure... Yeah, we don't need his help to find Indra. Yeah. I can find an Indra anytime I want. I know an Indra when I see one. No problem. I know oh. an Indra... Oh, well, you do? Uh, yeah. You should, like, uh, you know, introduce us. I think we're going to get a few internet issues, uh, oh, unfortunately. Uh, already? Oh, oh uh, we have Edwin Vorted here, and he's got a quest. Excellent. Um, so he says, Hey, you the curious, do you know the establishment of Charles? We make all kinds of bets there to have the chance to win the jackpot. It's so addictive that I had to sell a good part of my goods. I don't come begging, but I send people to discover this place. Charles told me that he would allow me to make some bets for free to regain my financial health. Uh, so how how much do you uh, like betting? Uh, are you asking me? <laughs> yes. Well, you have three choices. You says it interests me a lot. Tell me exactly where is this place you're talking about. Or, you will ruin your life if you continue like this. Or, money games don't interest me. Take these 300 chronotons anyway. Are you what? Are you crazy? <laughs> okay, okay, there's only two choices, Sid. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> uh, I mean, All right. again, there we go. Addicted Dower. for life. I knew it. This establishment is located to the north of the Sokwai Forest, adjoining the mountains. Well, I mean, that's I mean, that's a trek. A gambling establishment in the mountains? <laughs> well, why not? All right. But, uh, hey, uh, he still had chronotons uh, that it needed cleaning up. So, oh, uh, excellent. Yeah. Though they're, they're very clean now. <laughs> Just to make sure. Excellent. They're very, very clean now. I'm just okay. uh, checking out the hull of a ship right now. Uh... Oh, hello. Bar- no, Babu. Oh, okay. I thought it was Barbu. Hmm. Babu. Uh, well, this place looks abandoned. Sid Garcia. What's up? The hero of all the ages. Sid. If I'm the hero of all ages, we're in big trouble. Well, aren't we? Yeah, yeah I guess we're always in big trouble. That is true. This uh, city, let's uh, just say, has uh, quite a unique architecture. Yeah, I really like the look of this city, actually. No, that looks like this goes straight out of town. Not using that bridge quite yet. Uh, I am happy to report the ships have barely anything interesting in them. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, saw, are, I thought you were happy to report you found Indra. No, they are a means yeah. of transport and nothing else. Mm-hmm. Means of, oh, really? You can make them... Sid, you champion. Oh, okay, thank you for calling me a champion. Well, you, you managed to make these ships move. Oh, wait, what? what? Hello? Oh, I found oh. Indra. Nice! Oh, how did you t- get here so fast? Uh, magic! I was here all along. Hello! You're Indra, I think. Sid. Oh, a friend of worth, you say? Surprising that this mule head still has them. Uh, so what is this object you're looking for? You're lucky. The gem of space. I Actually, think... I need two more gems of space. 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 
in space. I think I remember some stories about those stones. The nearest one should be in the south, in the Alsasler swamps. Very old emerging structures still standing above water. Swamps are not very close, so I advise you to find a mount. You can buy a horse at Eric Melsat's stable. He sells them for a little, if you promise to take good care of them. It's also not very safe there. Many bugs roaming around. Good luck. Alfath. Al yeah, so, it's great, great names. Let, let's just call it Alcester. Ah, uh, okay, better, better, yes. Oh, hello, Rena son. Hello, I'm in luck. I need someone to unlock in my room. The door leading to the temple nearby. It is very rarely visited. And I'm the only one who takes care of it. Well, of course, Sid will check. Uh-oh. Sorry. Sid, we were in the middle of... <laughs> dialogue, I know. I know, now the dialogue is interrupted and I can't click. Oh. Quest accepted. Quest accepted. <laughs> Thank you. We had tremors recently and... Now something seems to be blocking the door on the other side. You can enter the temple by climbing to the highest point of the fields above. There is an opening for the rain to enter the temple. And I will pray for you. Very, what? very kind. Why would you want rain to enter your temple? Um, no idea. I think we'll, uh, we'll, we'll have to figure that one out once we're inside uh, with the loot. Uh, Flus, did you get that message in chat, by the way? What message in chat? Uh, detonate the obstacle with a fireball. Hey? Did you not see that? Or is it just for me? Oh! Did it. Oh, but there are no more doors. Oh, did I accidentally see a door? I, I guess so. You, you solved it, so... Oh, that's, that's Indra's. Oh. I, I'm guessing you cleared the obstacle that blocked the door. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, there was a door here. Oh. Well, I thought <laughs> the temple was a lot farther away. Apparently not. Yeah. Well, now I'm in the temple, and there's a alarming lack of loot, I will say. Darn. Darn, darn, darn. Alarming lack of loot. Sid Garcia. I can't believe you'd do this. I took it all for myself. <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, are there any more questicles? Uh, well, we should grab a mount. Uh, we uh, should. Uh, if I can find my way out of this dumb temple that has nothing. No, <laughs> no offerings to flues or anything. Yeah, I mean, a temple to you. There should be all sorts of offerings. Uh, shouldn't there? I thought so. Oh, I think I found the sables. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I mean, logically, it would probably be close to the road, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Okay, so I have 252 chronotons. I think they're called chronotons. That, oh, apologies. <laughs> so for a... Once I can get a hiking horse. For how many? Uh, oh. 100. But that, that is the, the expensive option. I chose the expensive option. The, the, the lowest is like 20 or 40. Wait. Flues maker? Uh, I might have used the wrong thing. <laughs> ah. Hello. H how did you get there? Uh, I, I went here. Oh, down there? Okay. Because uh, I was using the glowing on your butt ah. to find the, uh, the stables. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. And uh, Eric Melsath. Hello. Are you interested in my horses? All right. Let's inspect. Let's look at this gift horse in the mouth. You got. You <laughs> took a a draft horse. A hackney. I took hi hiking. You, a hackney. Yeah. Yes. A hackney. <laughs> hackney. Hiking horse or a war horse. All right. Let's let's go with a hackney horse. Dum, da, dum, da. And make him get stuck in these stairs. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the first thing you always do. It's like a ritual, you know? It's like yeah. when you bring a bottle on the boat to you, get mm -hmm. stuck. <laughs> but now that we are noble warriors on uh, noble steeds, well, not very noble, just peasant horses, whichever, uh, uh, it is time for us to end this episode and uh, before we can see you in the next one. 
Thank you everyone for watching. Bye bye. See you later for more Across the Time 2. No time for regrets. Sponsored by the Flues Crew on Patreon.